Hey fellow lab rats, this is Rebecca from the Lab Rat YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be uh, doing three practice problems using the creatinine clearance uh, formula. All right, let's get started. watching this video hopefully you've already seen my uh, lecture video on kidney function where I discuss in detail about creatinine clearance if you have not already watched that video um, I will go ahead and link it below in the description of this video for you uh, highly recommend watching that video before you uh, watch this video on uh, creatinine clearance practice problems uh, so just to recap briefly the creatinine clearance is a test of the filtration of the glomerulus in the kidney um, and it tests the ability of the kidney to remove certain compounds in the blood and eliminate them via urine. And we do this via a uh, calculation using uh, creatinine values from the urine and also in uh, the blood. So on the next slide here, we're going to be discussing the calculations. Let's go to that one. So the formula for calculating a patient's creatinine clearance is U times V divided by P times 1.73 divided by A. So this is where U equals the concentration of urine creatinine in milligrams per deciliter. V is the volume of urine in milliliters uh, per time in minutes. P is the concentration of the creatinine in the serum or the plasma in milligrams per deciliter, and A is the patient's body surface area. So the 1.73 here is a constant in this calculation. It's the standard body surface area of, uh, of a human. Um, so a lot of students um, have problems understanding like where this is all coming from. Like they get the calculation part of it once we go work through practice problems, but a lot of times they struggle. It's like what what, what, how does this happen in the laboratory? All right, so what happens is um, the doctor orders a creatinine clearance on a patient. And what they are done, what they are given is they are given a 24 hour urine uh, collection jug. They're usually like big kind of like amber looking bottles and the patient collects the entirety of their urine over a 24 hour period in this urine jug. Um, so the urine jug actually has uh, measurement like increments on the outside of it. So that way we can get the measurement um, of how much urine that they collect. So that's the first step of it. So after that 24 hour period, um, they take it back into the laboratory. Uh, of course, this is an outpatient setting. If this is in a hospital setting, the nurse or the, the patient care tech would be doing this for the patient. Um, but that urine jug gets um, is sent to the laboratory. And at that point in time, they are, are their blood is drawn and a creatinine level is uh, performed on their blood as well. Um, so that's how we get the 24 hour urine and then also the plasma or the serum creatinine um, on, you know, on the patient's blood. So uh, when that urine jug comes down to the laboratory, the milliliters of how, mu how much urine is in that jug is collected and, and recorded and put into the computer system, um, as well as the patient's um, height and body weight. So that is how um, the computer calculates the patient's body surface area. So um, as medical professionals or medical lab professionals, um, we're responsible for doing this. And then also once the urine creatinine level is performed and reported into the patient's chart and the plasma or the serum creatinine level is performed and recorded in the patient's chart, the computer system, if it has the milliliters properly recorded and the patient's body surface area will do this calculation for you and it will populate that creatinine clearance. However, uh, we do need to know as medical laboratory technicians and medical laboratory scientists how to calculate this um, without using the computer, of course. So I've put together three practice problems and I'm gonna go through these with you uh, now. All right, let's go to the first uh, problem. So practice problem number one. So again, we have the uh, formula here for you. Uh, this patient's plasma creatinine is 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. Urine creatinine is 120 milligrams per deciliter. Urine volume is 1200 milliliters, and that's over a 24 hour period because the collection time down there is 24 hours. 
and the surface area, the body surface area of this particular patient is 1.3. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out how to do this problem. Um, so <clears throat> uh, we want to do U times V. So what is U here? So that's the concentration of the urine creatinine. So this here is U, right? So let's just start plugging this in. So 120 milligrams per deciliter, all right? And then we want to multiply that by V, and V is the volume of urine in milliliters per times per minute, all right? So this is technically part of V, all right? But we, it's not the entire, you, 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 we have to calculate it per the uh, 24 hour period before we can do, uh, put it in for V. So to get V, you want to take this number here, this 1200, 1200 milliliters, and you want to divide it by minutes, all right? So recall that V is the volume of urine in milliliters per time per minutes, right? So we have the milliliter portion, and now we need to do this, this, the minutes. So 24 hours is actually 1,400 and 40 minutes. So most of these are gonna be over a 24 hour period because creatinine clearance is done on a 24 hour urine. Um, so it just commit that to memory is 1,440 minutes is, is the 24 hour period. So 1,200 divided by 1,440 is 0.833 milliliters per minute. All right, so that's our V value, okay? So now we can plug it into the equation. So, so 120, so this is U, times V, which is 0 0.833 milliliters per minute, all right? And then we are going to divide that, so this is where we're at right now here, so divide that by P, and our P value is what? So P is the concentration of the serum creatinine in milligrams uh, per deciliter. So that's here. So serum or plasma creatinine is fine. 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. So 1.5 milligrams per deciliter, okay? So let's do that part of the equation first. So 120 times 0.833, and then divide that by 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. Just use your calculator for that, that's fine. Um, you will get 66.67. Okay, so is that the end of this? No, that, that's just the part of it. All right, so we need to do a correction for kidney mass proportional to body size. So that's where this part of the equation comes in. So we're gonna have 66.67 and we're going to multiply that by 1.73. And again, that's the standard body surface area. So that's a constant in this equation. And then we are gonna divide it by A, which is the patient's body surface area. And this here is A. So 1.73 divided by 1.3, all right? So 66.67 uh, times 1.73 uh, divided by 1.3, equals 88.71 milliliters per minute. And that is your answer for your creatinine clearance on this particular patient. All right, let's go to the next one. So again, we have our calculation for creatinine clearance, U times V divided by P times 1.73 divided by A. Uh, so this patient's plasma creatinine value is 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. Our urine creatinine value is 154 milligrams per deciliter. Urine volume over that 24 hour period is 1,600 milliliters. And the patient's body surface area is 1.6 millimeters uh, cubed. Alrighty, so let's get started and plug it and chug it in this equation. Uh, so 
we need to do u times v first. So what is our u value? So it's the, uh, recall that uh, u is the concentration of the urine creatinine. And this patient's urine creatinine is 154. So this is our u value. So 154 milligrams per deciliter. That's going to be our u value times, now we need v here. So how do we get V? Remember, so uh, V is the volume of urine in milliliters per times per minute. So can we just take this number? And the answer is no. We have to account for how many minutes uh, the collection time was. So we got to do a separate calculation to find V. So V equals 1600 milliliters because that's how much volume of urine was given by the patient. And then we're going to divide it by that 24 hour period and the calculation calls for minutes. So we need to convert this 24 hour period into minutes, which we already know is 1440 minutes. So V equals, so plug this into your calculator, 1600 divided by 1440, and that gives you 1.11 milliliters per minute. Okay, now that we have V and milliliters per minute, we can go ahead and plug that into our equation. So we're gonna take that V value. So 1.11 milliliters per minute. Excellent, all right, so we have our U and our V. Now we need to divide this by our P value. And what's our P value? So P is the concentration of serum or, uh, or plasma creatinine in milligrams per deciliter. Uh, so this is going to be our P value, all right? So which is 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. So 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so we're going to take 154 times 1.11 and then divide that all by 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. Um, so that's going to give us 68.376 milliliters per minute. Okay, and so actually I, I didn't really discuss it on practice problem number uh, number one, but I'll talk about it here. So where does this designation come from? Where does this milliliters per minute come from? If, with the calculation, this cancels out and this cancels out. And so we're just left with milliliters per minute. All right, so 68.376 milliliters per minute. So is that our final answer? And the answer is no, because we need to do a correction uh, to account for kidney mass proportional to the patient's body uh, size. So what we need to do is take into account this part of the equation. So we're going to take 68.376 milliliters per minute and we're going to multiply that by the surface area. So times that 1.73, which again is a constant in this equation, so this is the standard body surface area for uh, people, and then we're going to divide it by A, and what is our A value here? So we're going to go back over to the patient's results. The body surface area for this patient is 1.6, so we're going to take 1.6. So we're going to take 1.73 divided by 1.6 and then multiply that by 68.376, we plug that into our calculator, we have 73.93 milliliters per minute. And that is our final creatinine clearance for this particular patient. Alrighty, let's go on to the next one. Alrighty, so this is the last one. Honestly, if you want to just pause this video and see if you can do the calculation by yourself, that would be awesome. Of course, I'm going to give you the answer here momentarily, but uh, that might be good practice for you. So again, we have our creatinine clearance uh, calculation. It's U times V divided by P times 1.73 divided by A. All right, so this patient's plasma creatinine value is 0 0.5 milligrams per deciliter. Their urine creatinine value is 102 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, their urine, total urine volume over that 24 hour period is 900 milliliters and their body surface area is 1.4 uh, millimeters cubed. Okay, so let's get started. So our first value that we need to find out 
is our U value. And we know that uh, U is the concentration of urine creatinine. So this is going to be our U value. So 102 milligrams per deciliter. Let's go ahead and plug that into our formula here. 102 milligrams per deciliter. All right. Now we need to do times V, all right? So how do we get V? So you should know it by now. So it's not just this 900 mils, right? So we have to convert it per this 24 hour period, remember? So V equals 900 milliliters. All right, and we need to convert that 24 hour period into minutes. And we know that uh, 1,440 minutes is a 24 hour period. So 1,440 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and plug that into our calculators. 900 divided by 1,440, you should get 0 0.625. Milliliters per minute. All right, so that's our completed V value. So we can go ahead and plug it in. So U times V, so we're going to do 0 0.625 here. Okay. And then we need to divide this all by our p value and our p value is a concentration of serum or uh, plasma creatinine and milligrams per deciliter so this is this value 0 0.5 milligrams per deciliter so let's plug that in 0 0.5 milligrams per deciliter okay so we're going to take 102 milligrams per deciliter times 0 0.625 milliliters per minute and divide that by 0 0.5 milligrams per deciliter. And again, this milligrams per deciliter and this milligrams per deciliter cancel them out. So that just leaves us with milliliters per minute. All right, so let's plug that into our calculator. This is going to give 127.5 milliliters per minute. All right, so, but we're not done with our calculation yet. We need to account for uh, body surface area. So we are going to take 127.5 milliliters per minute. And what are we gonna do with it? So we gotta account for this part of the calculation. So we're gonna take it times 1.73, which again is our standard constant for body surface area. And we're gonna divide it by A, which is what? So if we go over here to our patient's values, their body surface area is 1.4 millimeters uh, cubed. So we're gonna put that into the formula. Alrighty, so we're gonna take 127.5 milliliters pi milliliters per minute times 1.73 divided by 1.4. And the answer to that is, let's plug it into our calculators, I'm getting 157.55 milliliters. Oh my goodness, there we go. My M was bad, milliliters per minute. It's hard doing this with a mouse. Should probably get like a like an Apple pen or something. Um, so. 157.55 milliliters per minute is the answer to uh, your creatinine clearance problem for this particular patient. Alrighty, so hopefully these three practice problems helped you. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more educational laboratory content. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, creatinine clearance or any other medical laboratory um, science um, areas, please feel free to leave uh, your comments in the comment section. All right, until next time.